Well, Julie, we've had uh, GDP numbers out today from China. What have they told us? Yes, we had the Q2 number out today and it showed that GDP growth had slowed to 7.5% um, over the second quarter. So that's from 7.7% um, last quarter. Um, so not only is this a slowdown, it also comes um, alongside some comments by the finance minister last week who said that he expected China's GDP to be around 7% this year. Now that's obviously half a percentage um, below um, the official figure of 7.5%. So in total this suggests that things are really starting to slow down now in China. Quite dramatic moves. What's pushing GDP down there? Well, part of it is, I mean, managed to an extent. So over the years, they've been very free um, at handing out money to governments to, to build, um, to, to sort of give uh, money to companies through the shadow financing system. And the, sort of the central government said, no, we've had enough of this now, and we're going to try and rein that back. So that started with the liquidity squeeze back in June. Um, and now they're sort of saying we're not going to give any kind of stimulus to um, industries suffering from overcapacity. Um, so overall, this is really going to squeeze the local governments um, and a lot of companies, especially who have been using these loans this year, really just to service their own debt. So squeezing that is really going to hurt. Mm. So it sounds tough times ahead for, for companies, the less money available and, and less growth. What, what's the impact going to be? Well, I mean, the ones to be looking at at the moment is really the banks. Um, so they, they make up a big part of the Hang Seng Index, so for investors in Hong Kong um, it's important to see what's going on there. They look very cheap at the moment um, if you look at them on a book value basis, but there's good reason for that. Um, banks have been um, very involved in the shadow financing system, um, really off balance sheet, so you can't really sort of see what's going on, but they are linked to it. So by reining that in, um, it could really damage some of the assets on their books and that, uh, they, it could come down even further, so that's really the risk. And how about in the wider economy, which sort of industries might be most affected? Well, we have overcapacity and obviously a lot of the heavy industries, so steel, cement, shipping. You saw the story with um, China Rongsheng last week um, in a lot of trouble, and solar as well. Um, there's overcapacity there, so they're already really in trouble. Um, consumption is the one thing that they're trying to sort of hold up, but even that's been slowing and some of the big consumer companies haven't been doing that well. So this is going to hit across the board, but certainly the heavy industries in particular. Well, Julia, tough times ahead in China as GDP continues to fall. Uh, thank you very much.